Hello, have you ever wanted to use a keyboard with your Xbox One instead of having to fill out forms and chat windows with your slow controller? Well, I'm going to use the Logitech K360 wireless keyboard to do just that. Okay, we have unboxed the keyboard. And you can see it's got a small USB dongle that you can either put in the back of your Xbox or like me, I'm gonna put in the side of my Xbox. I'm just gonna come down here. Oh. <clears throat> Not dropping it is probably a good thing. All right, there we go, nice and small. Won't get in any way of your cables or wires. All right, now, once you have the USB dongle in, you will need to do a full reboot on your Xbox One. This is not a on off with the button. This is a full power cycle, but I think it's much cleaner to use the settings menu to do that instead of just pulling the power. Alright, once you get in here, if you go to, you can go to, um, power and startup. And then just go down to restart now. And this will take a good couple of minutes. Okay, we have rebooted the Xbox One with the dongle, and I went ahead and loaded into Neverwinter Online, which is why I bought a USB keyboard, so I could use it to chat and uh, look for a group in a much more efficient way than using my controller. So let's go ahead and show you that. Bring up the chat window. Turn the keyboard on. And as you can see, the text shows up for you. Just typing on the keyboard. All right. Well, that's that. I hope this was helpful to you. Again, this is the Logitech K360 wireless keyboard. Um, I like this keyboard for two reasons. One, Logitech makes good wireless devices. Their dongles are small and you get great battery life out of just two AA batteries. Usually it's about two years is what they advertise. I found that to be pretty accurate with their mice. And two, uh, it's pretty cheap. I got this for $29 US at Staples. Again, this is just a PC keyboard. It is not anything special for the Xbox One. All right. Thank you.